Hi everybody! My name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. Guess what? I got a box in the mail. I did. I got a Happy Mail wonderful package. I don't know what's in it. I have popped the top and that is it. And that was just because it is taped the same way I would tape things and very, very well. Didn't think you wanted to listen to that. I've not looked into it. It has been sitting there on my counter and I didn't want to open it and take a peek at it until I was ready to film. So I'm so excited. It's been taunting me. Okay, I'm not going to lie. This wonderful package, this is in a large priority mailbox, United States priority mailbox, and it was sent by Zinnia, a beauty who crafts. I'll have her information linked down below. Zinnia has played in the Mystery Yarn Challenge in the past, and she's been a content creator for quite some time. She hasn't been putting out any new videos for a little while recently, you know, life getting in the way, but she is not gone from the community. If you watch a lot of the lives, other people's lives, things like that, she is definitely quite active and uh, doing a lot with either helping them moderate or commenting or something along that line. So she is very much still out there and about there on the YouTube streets. But anyway, she sent me a box. I, I, I'm i thankful. I'm happy. I don't know what it is. I don't know why. Maybe there's a reason once I open it, but oh my goodness, how cool is that? So I'm, like I said, all excited. Yes, you know, it's a beautiful day. You can see that sun just coming in, right? You know, it's like, oh yeah. Oh, this is not my basement. I had a comment before there. Um, when the sun came in, it was surprising because they uh, um, really thought that this was my basement. And no, it's not. This is the second floor of the house. I get a lot of sun. I have to pull the curtains down. Or there are times where I'll film later in the evening because even with the curtains down, it's those slat things. It's not real curtains, right? Um, the sun will pour in and then you have the lines right across my face. So, you know, minor details. I try to make it look halfway decent, you know, not professional. No, but halfway decent. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and try to get into the box. Okay, now that's funny. See, we can peek, but even that's taped, right? So I told you I didn't get into it. So that's taped down too. So yes, I do have my scissors. I don't know if I want to use them, right? You know? We're all still kind of making fun of Jackie from Crochet ADHD, you know, because she did this. She was chatting along and she she had scissors and she um she cut into her yarn and that was arcane fiber yarn. Woo! She fixed it and made a beautiful shawl though. She redeemed herself. It was wonderful. All right. Oh, this is cool. I popped the top. I see lots of colors. Okay. For the lovely and talented Shannon. All right, I'll take that. Yeah, see? Look. Isn't it nice? I'll take that. I'll be the lovely talented one for the day. I got that. <laughs> All right. As always, if it's a personal type letter, I won't read it. But if it's, you know, not, then I can read it, you know, out loud. Okay, there's a lot on this one. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I can read this. It said, congrats on winning my first Yarny giveaway. I know it's been so long since I had this giveaway, but I hope it is a happy surprise. Yes, yes, it is a very happy surprise. Um, wow, okay, I am quite thankful. Wow, said so the caked yarn has the same stats as the peach skeins, perfect. I made the stitch markers. Ooh, homemade gifts are awesome. Uh, my husband is a baker and made the cookies. Oh. I have cookies. Oh yeah, I've got cookies. That's awesome. They will definitely be enjoyed. <laughs> we don't have gluten intolerance in this household. They will be enjoyed. Let's see. I hope you and your hubby and hopefully the grandkids can enjoy them. They will definitely. And this is a beauty who crafts and this is Zinnia. Wow, Zinnia, thank you so much. I got cookies. There's chocolate chip and red velvet and double chocolate and um, I don't know. There's a variety of cookies in here. That is awesome. Oh yeah. I'm going to enjoy those. That's There's no doubt on that. Oh wow. This is so cool. So this is awesome. Look at this. Look, look, look. You know what that is? That is Ice Yarns Prism. This is one of their highly coveted, this is the first time I've ever felt it. <laughs> 
I think, but I think one of my girlfriends had gotten some. I've never had any. I have not had any. This is gorgeous. Ice yarns. Uh, I haven't ordered from Ice Yarn Specific. I've used some of their yarns before, but I've never ordered from them um, because you know, you, to get the bang for your buck, you're going to order a large amount. This is going to be a, a decent size order. And uh, it, it, the yarn itself, price-wise, is inexpensive per ball. It's the shipping that you're paying for, right? So, it, you know, if you do the ball average or whatever, it's not horrible. I just haven't gone down and pushed the button yet. If you've been following me for a while, you know I do push the button on occasion. I just haven't yet with ice yarns. It'll happen. I'm holding off but yeah this is wow there's a bunch of these this is um i don't know what color but i'm very familiar with it if you're if you follow crystal from bag of day crochet she does a lot of her stitch tutorials with the prism yarn this is a short color repeat um so really beautiful for showing up on the tutorials stuff like that so you'll see that and she has uh, another one of the prism is a primary color and it is stunning this is gorgeous this is, uh, there's a phone number. I don't, that's not interesting to me. Um, looks like you can machine wash it. I don't know all the specs on it. Ice yarn's an interesting one as far as putting the specs on it. I don't care. It's stunning. It's gorgeous. I've not had it before. It feels nice. It's so pretty. And there's a bunch of them. I don't know how many, but there's, there's, I'm seeing three more. Okay, so there's at least six of these in here, and that is, look at that. I, I, I mean, wow, that, that is amazing. That's a lot, that's, wow, they are beautiful. I've not had these. These are gonna be so much fun. I mean, look at that gorgeous rainbow color. Let's get all of them to where you don't see all the tags and you just see the beautifulness of it. Look at that. I mean, isn't that just gorgeous? It, and it's just so bright and pretty and shiny. And yes, this is stunning. So there's six of those. Oh, it's Easter time. Look, I got a yellow leo. Isn't it cute? Oh my goodness, that is adorable. Okay, that's gonna go right there. Pretty sure when the grandkids see that, it'll disappear. It will. Okay, so the peach yarn. She says there's cakes wound up. It's the same specs. This is Hirschner's Afghan, two-ply Afghan yarn. I've not used this either. I've not used um, Hirschner's brand yarn. I have some of their worsted eight that I got in the neon. This is soft. Wow. That I got in the neon colorway, but I haven't used it. So this is a 100% acrylic. It is, net weight is two ounces, 56 grams. It's 225 or 220 yards. It is a number two fine. And the color on this is light coral, and that is pretty. And there are four of these in here. I mean, this box is full. I mean, this is a, okay, I dropped one. It's okay, it's a my, not a problem. But look at those, those are really pretty. That's a beautiful, nice, neutral color. And she said the cake yarns are the same stats. Look at that, oh my gosh, look. Look at that, aren't those pretty? That's a pretty combination. That'll make something gorgeous, isn't it? That is really nice. And there's three of those that are already caked up. That's cool. Okay, there's more in here. Okay, if it's all the caked yarns, this is the same stuff. Oh, yeah, isn't that stunning? I like that. So it looks like they all go with the solids really well. There's a stripe of that in there. I like those colors. Oh, emotional support chicken, anyone? What do you think? What do you think? Nice, pretty colors. Oh, that would be really cute. Have you made any emotional support chickens? Yeah. I don't know. They're just they're everywhere. So there's that. And look at this. Ice yarns. This is, it's made in Turkey. Okay. Baby Batik. Baby Batik. This is a number two fine. It's a 100% acrylic also. Look at that mint color. That mint and that white. Is that pretty? Oh my gosh. How many yards are on this? There's a lot of yardage in these things too. 360 meters, 100 grams. So about 400 yards. That's a lot of yardage. And this is, like I said, it's a number two fine. There are two of those. That's a lot. That, that'll make a lot. Look at the way that color goes through. That is really pretty. Wow. Okay. Let's see, is this the same one? I don't know. Let's see, and then there's something else right here. I'm gonna set this on the floor so I can pull the rest of those out. So this one's in a cellophane bag. 
We want to see what it looks like outside of the bag. Oh. Oh, this is nice. So I have four of these. Oh my. This is uh, uh, Morella, M-I-R-E-L-L-A. Look at that. That's fancy. See? So you can see the... That is real. That is really soft. There's a sparkle. Can you see the sparkle? Yeah, you can see the sparkle. Look at that. Okay, so this has a gorgeous sparkle, a little bit of a halo. That's pretty. This says it's a number three, 15% mohair, 35% acrylic, 40% polymade, 10% metallic lurex. That is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. This needs to be made into something. Oh yeah, that's that feels nice. As Crystal would say, if you ever watch Crystal from Bag of Day Crochet, if you've ever heard the term scarfable, she refers to that as something that you could wear against your neck or skin or the more sensitive areas, your neck and your face, right? You know, so that's what she refers to as that. So as you can see, going like this, you know, I'm not making any wincing faces, so we're doing good. <laughs> yeah, that is stunning. Zinni, I am just absolutely amazed. This is such a, a wonderful box of goodies and we're gonna get now as soon as I get out camera I'm getting into those cookies I'm not gonna lie I am just, we're not saving them uh-uh that's they're they're getting eaten it's true a little bit of a sweet tooth in this household it's okay right <laughs> that's how that works what would you start with first let me grab the box again try to pull something up here okay so I've got these colors right that are all the the same um, mix of fibers. It's a 100% acrylic, number two fine. These would all mix together very, very well. We don't have to do any adjustments for gauge or whatever because they're all the same yarn. And this, oh my gosh, I've got five grandkids. This screams something for one of the girls. It does. But, I mean, there's six of them. There's a lot of yardage in this. You know, you got six. That's the thing. And it's so, so pretty. That is stunning. And two of these there's, you know, 800 yards with that. That's a lot of yardage. So I had two of those. I mean, that's a lot. And then four. I mean, I'm going to pull another one out because that, so you see why I need to make something with this? Look at what I have on. I mean, I have an eclectic clothing style, whatever. I mean, but it matches. That matches with my stuff. I mean, it's, it's a green. Yeah. It's like a dark greenish color. You know how some colors you're not real sure, whatever. Yeah, there's green, there's darker. I think it's all greens. And that's what I'm wearing is all that right there. Oh my, that is gorgeous. You could either um, make one project with it. I mean, it's got all the nice colors to it, striping, variations. You've got the sparkles. You've got a lot going on in this yarn, but not in a um, bright, vibrant, you know, like, like this way has a lot going on. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. But the subtle version of this. Yeah, that's it. The subtle version of that. Yeah, that is just stunning. I mean, look at that. That needs to be worked up into something. It does. I'm not sure what, but man, I mean, you can tell I'm just, that feels great. Wow. I like it when I get some of the ice yarns. I really do. Because like I said, I haven't made an order myself. Um, I just haven't, right? I, I have yarn. It's okay. Don't don't feel bad for me. It's okay. So when I do get something like this, where somebody is willing to uh, sacrifice part of their stash or give things up or something along that line, I am so tickled because I get to touch them and feel them. Um, because you know, when you order online, you don't know what something's going to feel like, right? Like both of these are 100% acrylic. Now this is an ice yarn and this is the Hirschner's Afghan yarn. This is a lot softer, but they're both 100% acrylic. There's nothing wrong with either of them, but this is definitely a softer yarn, right? You know, and, and you just don't know. Or like this, this has a completely different feel than this one, but it's very, very soft. And then this one has all the different things. And I've had stuff with natural fibers in them and mixes that feel amazing. And others you're like, yeah, that's yeah, you're paying a premium for that yarn, but it doesn't feel nice, right? So you just, you don't know. Even when you're reading the composition, you're not sure. Um, even when they say like a premium acrylic, we've all felt acrylic that some of it feels amazing. And others are like, I don't really want to use it. I mean, they still have their uses. They do. Um, you know, some um, sometimes you want a a rougher, toothier, stand on its own acrylic. Really depends on the, the use for it. And other times you want something that's flowy and drapey. It just really depends on what you're planning on making with it. 
that's all there is to it as far as that goes. But yeah, this is this is a wonderful box of fun stuff. I mean, can you see the chicken made out of that? I can. I mean, all the fun colors. I mean, I don't know how long the color repeats are. Um, if, as far as will it will it um, stripe, spiral, swirl? I mean, the pattern goes back and forth. You have short rows, but um, you know how the color stacks up on itself with what you make. Uh, knitting versus crocheting, crocheting different stitches, things along that line. And if you want to see how this works up, how stunning this works up, peruse through Crystal from Bag O' Day Crochet and look at a lot of her stitch tutorials. She uses the Ice Prism yarn um, in the more primary colors, but it's this yarn and it is gorgeous. And you'll get an idea on how this works up. And that's why she gets so many, well, I mean, it's crystal. That's why she gets clicks. But, you know, that's why on a lot of her tutorials, she'll get even more because it's just, it's beautiful. It just is. You know, some things are just pretty and don't really need an explanation. This is one of them. I'm thrilled. I mean, these are gorgeous. I, I just, I'm stunned. Yeah. Okay. I'm repeating myself. I just, you know, I, I guess I don't, I accept things well, but sometimes I just don't know how to accept things well if you know what I'm getting at yeah I just thank you yeah I'll just leave it at that thank you very much I'll, I'll stop blabbering and blubbering and I'm just in awe I I am completely and totally in awe that this is here and it's mine now and yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna with that I'm gonna let everybody go uh before I get emotional that's pretty cool thank you so much Zinnia for this this was absolutely wonderful and extremely lovely I greatly appreciate it and with that everybody I'm gonna let you guys go you guys have a great day night evening whatever it happens to be and I will talk to you again later bye bye <laughs>